Episode 56 YK09 30 2024 The EPA responds to a 2023 residential wood stove PM 2.5 safe level lawsuit. In episode 56 YK1 United States 1A EPA will review wood stove emissions rules to settle lawsuit. 1B U.S. House passes bill that blocks Environmental Protection Agency EPA standards to reduce carbon emissions. 2 California, 3 Colorado, 4 Connecticut, 5 Florida, 6 Iowa, 7 Kentucky, 8 Maine, 9 Maryland, 10 Minnesota, 11 Missouri, 12 New Mexico, 13 Ohio, 14 Virginia, 15 West Virginia, 16 Canada, 17 Australia, 18 New Zealand, 19 United Kingdom, 20 Europe, 21 Denmark, 22 Greece, 23 India, 24 Malaysia, 25 Purple Air Map Update. Main Content 1A and 1B We begin this episode 56YK with the United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA response to a one-year-old Democratic State Assistant Attorney General's lawsuit and a new bill passed by Republicans in the United States House of Representatives that blocks Environmental Protection Agency EPA standards to reduce carbon emissions. The first update 1A United States. EPA will review with stove emissions rules to settle lawsuit. Law 360. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency agreed to revisit its PM 2.5 emission standards for residential woodbinding stoves, resolving 10 states District of Columbia. D.C. Rosep View. The Environmental Protection Agency of the United States Biden administration responded to a lawsuit brought by 10 Democratic State Assistant Attorney Generals in August 2023. On September 27, 2024, the EPA responded by agreeing to revisit the EPA's emission standards for residential wood-burning stoves. The 10 Assistant Attorney Generals wished for the EPA to improve their emission standards every five years. RAWSE President's editor asked that near-neighbors of indoor residential wood stoves whose PM 2.5 emissions enter the yards of near-neighbors and sicken them also respond by writing letters to the 10 Democratic State Attorney Generals, asking them to broaden their request to the EPA and ask the EPA to consider the adverse health effects of indoor residential wood-burning stove emissions entering the yards of near-neighbors and sickening the near-neighbors. RAWSE Presidents believe that indoor residential wood-burning can be replaced by heat pumps that in 2024 work down to 40 degrees below zero, also operate as air conditioners, and lower monthly heating bills immediately. In 2024, the alternative is here and must be used to protect human health and to incrementally slow climate change. There is no need to burn wood indoors residentially. Electricity has been available even in rural areas across the United States at least since the end of the Second World War over 75 years ago. Electricity to all rural areas is also being enhanced in 2024 by the Biden administration's pledge of $7.3 million to improve rural electrification through rural power cooperatives. There is an example of using one solution heat pumps for indoor residential home heating rather than indoor residential wood burning a solution in search of a need and a solution for home heating that creates more health problems than it solves. The difference is that indoor residential wood burning has no positive effect to weigh against wood burning's adverse health effects since there are clean, cheaper, and less logistically complicated methods of home heating, notably heat pumps that ideally would be power from an electrical grid that reaches all rural areas powered by the truly clean renewable energy of wind and solar and geothermal in 2024. On the other hand, in the 1990s, the AIDS drugs were somewhat effective in protecting human health, but one somewhat effective drug had the side effect of blindness for which an additional AIDS drug was needed to fight the side effect of blindness. Dr. Anthony Fauci brought up the idea of parallel track to deal humanely by asking the FDA to allow the use of the drug against blindness to counteract the side effects of an otherwise helpful AIDS drug, and that Fauci idea of a parallel track is mentioned in both letters. If the EPA cannot immediately dismantle the certification of wood stoves as safe when all indoor residential wood burning is unsafe, at least the EPA can face reality, and when gradually phasing out legal use of indoor residential wood burning promote and aid in disbursement of heat pumps as the logical low-cost and effective substitute for home heating across the United States whether in rural or urban areas. Don't replace wood burning with wood burning because that only perpetuates the air pollution, the upward trajectory of healthcare for those exposed to wood smoke, and the upward trajectory of climate change caused by the very real emissions of PM2.5 and CO2 from wood burning emissions. Rosep View. 1AA letter was sent by RAWSE presidents to the 10 assistant attorney generals and to three others and put on the website as episode 56 HS at HTTPS forward slash forward slash rospresidents.com slash one plesiatic flaturton EA director Drajona Maratsoto Animales Romayado G and Maratsonego slash episode 56 HS August 22nd, 2023. Dear one of 13 assistant attorney generals attached is a letter to the director of NIAID. Dear Assistant Attorney General Attached is a letter I sent to National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAID Director Dr. Jean Marazzo, former acting NIAID Director Dr. Hugh Auchincloss, and National Institutes of Health NIH Director Dr. Lawrence Tabak regarding regulation and potential shutdown of PM2.5 polluting indoor residential wood burners. The letter asks Dr. Jean Marazzo to apply a parallel track in 2023 to indoor residential wood burning pollution, allowing a parallel track of both EPA wood stove certification which is known to be ineffective in controlling PM2.5 pollution which is known to cause antibiotic resistance, which makes pandemics of infectious disease more likely and uncontrollable alongside a complaint-based system based. On Purple Air PM 2.5 monitor data from the yards of near neighbors of indoor residential wood. Burners. Dr. Anthony Fauci, Dr. Gene Marazzo's predecessor at NIAID in 1989, allowed a parallel track of both Food and Drug Administration FDA use of AZT, following clinical trials rules of use of that one AIDS drug, which had a side effect of blindness alongside allowing use of a second drug during a clinical trial Gancyclovir, which cured the blindness that was a side effect of AZT. I previously sent you a letter asking for you to include in your suit against the EPA a suit that will commence if the EPA does not reply by August 24th, 2023 and ask for a complaint-based system of regulating indoor residential wood burning using data from Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors in the yards of near neighbors who complain of PM 2.5 from hyper localized indoor residential wood burners even and especially those indoor residential wood burners which are already ineffectually certified by the EPA that violate the EPA's own national ambient air quality standards NAAQS emission limits of 35 micrograms per cubic meter in a 24-hour period. 
Currently, if a near neighbor's complaint is made to a local health department, a complaint using federal NOx exceedance data is not considered as a basis for a complaint against neighboring indoor residential wood burning nor a basis for shutting down the wood burning appliance if the indoor residential wood stove is federally EPA certified. Lawsuits for nuisance are expensive and beyond the means of the average American and not considered precedents in courts generally. Contacting state agencies or other means of shutting down polluting with stove use affecting the health and lives of near neighbors are not effective because decisions made by the EPA affect the decisions of state agencies. Although the scope of your lawsuit seems confined to asking the EPA to continue their wood stove certification program, as is only at a faster pace, consider the intent that should be behind asking the EPA to tighten their standards for wood stove certification on a regular basis. The intent of an environmental protection agency is to protect the environment perhaps narrowly construed to be protecting air, water, and ground from contamination from industries. But people who live in the United States should actually benefit from the environment being protected, even if getting the EPA to act quickly to continue, as they have been acting only incrementally changing, is the narrow aim of this lawsuit. Tightening wood stove standards on a regular basis should have the result of protecting the environment, as well as protecting the people of the United States from harm from the air, water, and ground, if contaminated and protect the world from hastening of climate change. That is a broad scope, but by contacting NIAID, I am pointing out that the EPA's responsibilities are intertwined with public health responsibilities of other government agencies, such as NIAID. Please try to accomplish something for the American people with this lawsuit, as well as keeping our air, water, and ground theoretically pristine. As a state administrator, you may think that taking a narrow focus I am not your constituent, but by commencing to sue a federal agency, you are representing me as a citizen of the United States and as your constituent. Thank you sent to Cody.doig at Alaska. Gov. Alaska Senior Assistant Attorney General Cody Doig Jason. James at ILAG. Gov. Illinois Assistant Attorney General Jason James Goldstein at OAG.state.md. U.S. Maryland Special Assistant Attorney General Stephen Goldstein Turner. Smith at Mass. Gov. Massachusetts Assistant Attorney General Turner Smith Peter. Serto at AG.state.mn.us Minnesota Special Assistant Attorney General Peter Serto Lisa. Morelli at Lot.joag. Gov. New Jersey Deputy Attorney General Lisa e. Morelli Nicholas. Batino at G. Gov. New York Assistant Attorney General Nicholas Batino Paul. Garahan at DOJ.state. U.S. Oregon Attorney in Charge Paul Garahan Steve. Novick at DOJ.state. U.S. Oregon Special Assistant Attorney General Steve Novick Nick. Persumpieri at Vermont. Gov. Vermont Assistant Attorney General Nick Persumpieri Caroline. Cress at ATG. Gov. Washington Assistant Attorney General Caroline Cress Chris. Writes at ATG. What Gov. Washington Assistant Attorney General Chris Writes. Jennifer at Spleenaird. Gov. General Counsel Puget. Sound Clean Air Agency Jennifer A. Dold Raz F. View. 1BA Letter RAWSE Presidents sent to Dr. Jean Marazzo, who took the place of Dr. Anthony Fauci at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases in 2024, sums up RAWSE Presidents' view. That letter is found on the RAWSE Presidents' website in the same month of August 2023 when the lawsuit began. The letter to Jean Marazzo is also found at https forward slash forward slash rospresidents.com slash one plesiatic flaterton EA Director Dr. Jean Emirat Soto Animals Romay Auto Jean Emirat Sonigov slash Dear Director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases NIAID Dr. Jean M. Marazzo, former acting director of NIAID Hugh Auchincloss Jr. MD and director of the National Institutes of Health NIH Lawrence A. Tabak Jean. Marazzo at NIH. Gov Hugh. at NIH. Gov Lawrence. Tabak at NIH. Gov wood burning emits 90%. PM 2.5 particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lungs, setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. Very recently, research has been published showing that PM 2.5 causes antibiotic resistance. Residents against wood smoke emission particulates. HTTPS forward slash forward slash RWSE presidents. WordPress.com, as near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners whose PM 2.5 pollution enters our yards and infiltrates our homes would like to stop the PM 2.5 pollution from indoor residential wood burning. Wood burning emits more CO2 and PM 2.5 than the fossil fuel coal burning. Wood burning emits 450 times the PM 2.5 as the fossil fuel natural gas burning. The list of adverse human health effects of wood burning PM 2.5 emissions includes lung cancer, asthma, heart attacks, and the most recent finding antibiotic resistance. This means that if you get an infectious disease like a viral infection such as AIDS or COVID-19, and there are antibiotics to help you get over the infection, they will be less effective if at the same time you are inhaling PM 2.5 from wood burning emissions. Dr. Anthony Fauci, your predecessor as director of NIAID in 1989, introduced the concept of AIDS treatment parallel track allowing multiple U.S. federal government agencies, the Food and Drug Administration FDA and NIAID, to both follow most rules of FDA clinical trials of the AIDS drug AZT and to allow a parallel track of use of the AIDS drug Gansiclovir to treat the AZT side effect, which was progressive blindness in some cases of AIDS combined with AZT clinical trial treatment. This is a request that in 2023, the NIAID in its mission to combat antibiotic resistance introduced the concept of parallel track of Environmental Protection Agency EPA certification of indoor residential wood stoves, along with the use of Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors asterisk placed in the yards of near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners in order to combat the antibiotic resistance of PM 2.5. Near neighbors have often already incurred the economic cost of purchasing the low-cost laser Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors whose data appears on Purple Air maps, as well as on U.S. EPA AirNow maps of smoke and fire alongside $100,000 EPA monitors, correlated to the EPA monitors with a simple mathematical formula asterisk, which in Wisconsin is PA asterisk 0.5140 plus 1.8304 for 24-hour 16-60-minute average of PM 2.5 underscore CF1 underscore UG slash M3. $100,000 EPA PM 2.5 monitors separate gravel density and wood density PM 2.5 weigh each and deliver results to the U.S. EPA maps of smoke and fire in one hour. 
Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors use lasers to count the PM 2.5 particles that pass in front of the monitor and deliver results in 10 minute intervals. If a PM 2.5 monitor is hyper localized and near enough to the stack of the indoor residential wood burner in the yard of a near neighbor to pinpoint the source of the PM 2.5, that data could serve as scientific evidence to show that National Ambient Air Quality Standards NAAQS limit is exceeded for the PM 2.5 average in a 24 hour period of 35 micrograms per cubic meter, or the limit of 12 annually is exceeded. If that NOx limit is exceeded by use of an indoor residential wood burner, that wood burner should be shut down in the interest of public health because it is causing increased antibiotic resistance at a time when the general public needs antibiotics to deal with widespread viral airborne diseases such as COVID-19, as well as viral diseases that could respond to antibiotic treatments such as AIDS under certain conditions. The parallel track would retain 2020 EPA New Source Performance Standards NSBS safe limit for indoor residential wood stoves of 2 grams per hour burning cord, with the most common wood used by indoor residential wood burners. The parallel track would retain 2023 EPA National Ambient Air Quality Standards NAAQS 24-hour hourly average safe limit for PM 2.5 of 35 micrograms per cubic meter or 12 annually. The parallel track could add the requirement nationwide of a complaint-based system in which near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners concerned about their health could request that the government with funds from NIAID give them a free $249 PM 2.5 purple air monitor if they complain to their local health department of PM 2.5 from an indoor residential wood burner, entering the near neighbor's yard and infiltrating their home. The parallel track could add the requirement that the local health department could shut down an indoor residential wood burner which hyperlocalized data shows is the source of the PM 2.5 exceeding NOx standards. In a recent letter, the EPA has indicated to the 10 U.S. state assistant attorney generals threatening to sue the EPA by August 24, 2023 if the EPA does not make changes to PM 2.5 NOx, probably lowering PM 2.5 NOx limits given current scientific knowledge of harm from PM 2.5 in 2023 as required by the eight-year rule last changes were made in 2015 eight years ago, EPA's probable response by August 24, 2023. The EPA indicated that many of the changes requested by the 10 assistant attorney generals can only be made by 2027. The February 2023 OIG Office of the Inspector General Watchdog of the EPA report stating indoor residential wood stove certification was flawed by lobbying of the wood stove industry resulting in loopholes that make most indoor wood stoves not actually meet EPA's lax certification standards, making cord wood burned in indoor residential wood stoves at 2 grams per hour emissions an unmet, standard and certified indoor residential wood stoves sold in the past and up to 2023. In summary, a 2023 parallel track would involve the NIAID handing out Purple Air PM 2.5 monitors to any near neighbors of indoor residential wood burners who complain to their health departments of PM 2.5 emissions from wood burning entering their yards and infiltrating their homes in order to regulate indoor residential wood burning and shut down indoor residential wood burning that violates EPA NOx safe limits for PM 2.5 and to concurrently address NIAID's responsibility to prevent antibiotic resistance caused by PM 2.5 pollution from indoor residential wood burning emissions of PM 2.5 above safe limits. The second parallel of the parallel would involve the EPA continuing to certify as safe indoor residential wood stoves as they have since 1988, when perhaps the polluting effects of wood burning were not yet fully known. Wood burning has the advantage over cigarette smoking that indoor residential wood burning is not physically addicting as the nicotine in cigarettes is addictive. Now that alternatives to indoor residential wood burning are plentiful and cheap since the cost of wind and solar energy is going down every day and the Inflation Reduction Act provides subsidies for heat pumps that work at temperatures down to 40 degrees below zero Fahrenheit and heat pumps can also work as air conditioners and are so efficient that they lower monthly heating bills this regulation and shut down of polluting wood. Stoves that cause adverse health effects and early deaths and also cause antibiotic resistance should not be unduly burdensome to homeowners seeking to heat their homes. Slowing climate change is not within the scope of the NIAID's duties, although stopping wood burning emissions would also slow climate change. Thank you asterisk having a particulate monitor makes a difference because months of PM 2.5 data can be seen to be undeniable. The data a Purple Air PM 2.5 monitor in Wisconsin collects can be matched to the standard of the data of official Environmental Protection Agency EPA data collected by their own PM 2.5 $100,000 air quality monitors by a simple mathematical formula. Conversion factor PA asterisk 0.5140 plus 1.8304. The conversion factor means Purple Air Monitor 24 hour 16 60 minute average of PM 2.5 underscore CF1 underscore UG slash M 3 times 0.5140 plus 1.8304. If the result is over 12, it exceeds EPA limits for particulate pollution annually, or if over 35 exceeds the daily limit. In the case of factory emissions and wildfires, Purple Air PM 2.5 data on US EPA Air Now maps of smoke and fire already signifies and signals to the general public a threat to public health. 12 micrograms per cubic meter annual level PM 2.5 is when people are warned to exercise indoors rather than outdoors since PM 2.5 is the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung. 12 PM 2.5 air is the point established at which the air diminishes life instead of sustaining life. The National Ambient Air Quality Standard, 1 United States, from the article. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity and relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates of 501c3 nonprofit organization. States EPA settle with stove emissions row. Law 360. Razep view. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency agreed to revisit its emission standards for residential woodbinning stoves, resolving 10 states D.C. federal court lawsuit, accusing the EPA of slacking on its obligation to do so. Law 360 September 27, 2024. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency agreed to revisit its emission standards for residential woodbinning stoves, resolving 10 states' D.C. federal court lawsuit, accusing it of slacking on its obligation to do so. Two United States. U.S. House passes bill to block EPA standards to reduce carbon emissions. Razep view. In this second legal update in this episode, 56 Hong Kong dollars, the players in this legislation are Republican representatives, rather than as in the first legal update Democratic State Assistant Attorney Generals. 
Apparently, the Republican representatives in the United States House of Representatives are up in arms about PM 2.5 emission standards in April 2024 being lowered by the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, from 12 micrograms per cubic meter annually to 9 micrograms per cubic meter annually. PM 2.5 is particulate matter of 2.5 micrometer size, the perfect size to infiltrate the human lung, setting off a cascade of human health problems and early deaths. PM 2.5 emissions come from indoor residential wood burning biomass, wood burning plants, and from gas powered automobiles, among many other industrial sources. The Republican representative's argument for making the existing safe PM 2.5 level higher is that lowering the safe limit will inhibit polluting industries from taking maximum profits from manufacturing if they have to install safety measures at their plants or manufacture cars with lower PM 2.5 emissions, that is to say, manufacture more electric cars. This is the old argument of industry cost over human health. Industry cost versus the cost of increased health care for human beings who will predictably experience more cancer asthma and early death is not an issue for the Republican representatives that passed this recent bill. From the article, United States, U.S. House passes bill to block EPA standards to reduce carbon emissions. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity in relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates of 501c3 nonprofit organization. September 26, 2024. Announcements legal the U.S. House of Representatives passed legislation recently that blocks Environmental Protection Agency EPA standards to reduce carbon emissions. H.J. Res. 136 passed September 20th with a 215,191 vote that included eight Democrats voting in favor. It was received by the Senate where it was referred to the Committee on Environment and Public Works. The Executive Office of the President released a statement following the passage of the bill that stated the Biden administration strongly opposes H.J. 136. It states Biden will veto the bill if it passes the Senate. A U.S. Republican representative introduced the bill in May to block the Biden administration's electric vehicle EV mandates. The EPA released the new standards to reduce carbon emission in April. The plan doesn't require manufacturers to produce EVs to meet the standards, but it is likely the easiest way for them to meet the standards that start in 2027. A press release says the Biden-Harris administration's EPA tailpipe emission rule is another out-of-touch regulation that will crater the Michigan auto industry. Human beings simply can't afford to spend an additional $12,000 on an electric vehicle. However, the press release from the Biden administration says disapproval of the EPA standards would generate uncertainty for the U.S. auto market and supply chains. The Biden press release says this would create a risk for more than 250,000 auto jobs added and more than $177 billion of private sector investments in the industry announced since 2021. Passage of HJ Res 136 would also artificially constrain consumer vehicle choice, weaken U.S. manufacturing and energy security, and harm public health, the Biden news release says. Biden's release also adds that the U.S. automakers and auto workers support the EPA rule and disapproval would jeopardize development in a critical technology sector. It adds that global competitors such as China would benefit from the U.S. slowing down development on EVs and batteries. The Automotive Service Association ASA praised the House for its passage of the resolution via a press release Tuesday. The National Federation of Independent Business, NFIB, also said it commends lawmakers for the passage of the bill. 1C Other United States News Alphabetical United States AHRI gets U.S. funding to study higher, R290 charge for residential heat pumps, natural refrigerants. The DOE earmarked $2.5 million to evaluate an ASHRA proposal to raise the charge limit of R290 for outdoor heat pumps in the U.S. to 4.9 kilograms. United States Best Home Warranty for Furnaces in 2024 USA Today Heat Pump versus Gas Furnace Which is Better for You? United States Commercial HVAC Market to Grow by $25.3 million U.S. dollars from 2024 to 2028 Driven by Yahoo Finance 2.1 Heat Pump 2.2 Furnaces 2.3 Boilers 2.4 Unitary Heaters Energy Saving Systems like Underfloor Heating and Heat Pumps are Popular Choices United States 5 Ways to Protect Yourself from Smoky Air Yahoo Avoid anything that can increase the number of small particles in the air including smoking using gas propane or wood-burning stoves and furnaces. For wear a respirator. Masks. United States. The government is offering every American household $8,000 for home energy upgrades. MSN. Appliances and home upgrades that qualify for the rebates include clothes, dryers, heat pumps, induction, cooktops, ventilation systems, insulation, and this government program wants to give you up to $14,000 for home energy upgrades MSN. The rebate program can help you keep the Inflation Reduction Act, put solar power, and a heat pump water heater in reach of our household. Window heat pumps, the future of heating small apartments. MSN. The introduction of heat pumps in residential buildings is undoubtedly one of the biggest challenges facing the heating equipment market. United States. What to watch for at the 2024 Housing Innovation Awards September 2024 newsletter. Department of Energy. Each uses heat pump technology for both space and water heating monitoring energy use for heat pumps both space and water heating. To California, San Francisco. A San Francisco family had a $4,000 annual PG&E bill. Here's how they slashed it to $2,600. San Francisco Chronicle. She and her husband took on two major home improvement projects installing insulation and a heat pump water heater in place of an older gas model. 3 Colorado. Salida Ranger District plans prescribed fire projects for fall. Heart of the Rockies Radio. For more information visit https forward slash forward slash www.colorado.gov slash fee slash woodsmokey and health. Fire personnel will monitor the burn units until the fire is. For Connecticut. Fire Marshal, Fire Prevention Week. Starts October 6th, newcanonite.com smoke alarms in the home. If your home has a fuel burning appliance attached garage or a wood burning fireplace carbon monoxide detector should. 5 Florida. Recovery efforts underway in Pasco County. WFLA. I think I just went numb because I just remodeled everything just ordered a new wood fire brick oven for pizza, now it's a total loss he said. 6 Iowa. Delaware County under open burning ban Tri-State News Telegraph Herald dot com Telegraph Herald. Manchester, Iowa. Delaware County is under an open burning ban. The ban was ordered by proclamation of Iowa State Fire Marshal Danwood. Delaware. 
7 Kentucky. Just because there's smoke doesn't mean it's a fire. Rosep View. Just because it is smoke you can call the fire department whether or not in Kentucky a fire is called a fire, or whether or not in Kentucky smoke is called smoke. Rosep View. Solid fuel burning PM 2.5 air pollution is solid fuel burning PM 2.5 air pollution. From the article, Hoptown Chronicle. Smoke billowing from the vents of tobacco barns at tobacco barn has tobacco and it could be wood or metal they're going to burn pretty quick. Just because there's smoke doesn't mean it's a fire. Most Western Kentuckians know that smoke rising from the vents of a tobacco barn isn't a cause for alarm. But newcomers will sometimes call 911 to report trouble. September 27, 2024. Murray, Kentucky. The curing season for dark fire tobacco runs from late August through September. And while Western Kentucky residents may be used to seeing smoke billowing from the vents of tobacco barns at this time of year, those who are not accustomed to such sites oftentimes think the building is on fire. We get a lot of people from the north and the west that come in and visit our county, which is absolutely great said the Callaway County 911 Communication Center Director. However, they don't know what a tobacco barn is. So, they see one, and they call 911, which is fine to an extent, but we get about several calls a year that there's a barn on fire, and it's not. It's smoking and doing what it's supposed to do, but people think that it is on fire. 8 Main Portland. A green jobs program touted high wages. Some trainees feel misled. The Portland Press Herald. Heat pumps outsold gas furnaces in 2022 and 2023 job growth in the solar industry is strong and the number of public EV chargers around the U.S. is. Main Standish. Climate impacts put insurance commissioner races in the spotlight. Inside Climate News. A heat pump is installed at a home in Standish, Maine. 9 Maryland. This 3775-year-old log may hold the secret to slowing climate change Washington Post. Burning coal and other fossil fuels. But much of that carbon, under the right conditions tons of wood, could be buried underground in wood. 10 Minnesota. Canadian wildfire smoke prompts air quality alert in North Central MN, MSN. To help reduce the number of harmful particles in the air MPCA recommends limiting activities like outdoor burning and use of woodbinning stoves at Minnesota. Sorted by publisher. B. Brainerd Dispatch. Burning biomass trash could be carbon-free, and Minnesota regulators say. In forum. Brainerd Dispatch. Wood or paper products but could also include burning the byproducts of wastewater treatment and trash reduces greenhouse gases compared to other. D. Duluth News Tribune. Burning biomass trash could be carbon-free, and Minnesota regulators say. Duluth News Tribune. Whether burned for energy or left in the forest to decompose would waste releases carbon dioxide. Supporters say it should be exempt from a law. E. Energy News Network. Trash wood burning could be considered carbon-free in Minnesota. Energy News Network. Emissions Minnesota regulators leave open the possibility that burning wood or trash for electricity could qualify as carbon-free depending on. S. Sahan Journal. Minnesota regulators delay ruling defining what carbon-free means Sahan Journal. Sahan Journal. Would biomass plants which burn wood and paper scraps to this is the direction it's going it's making trash burning and wood burning. S. Star Tribune. Burning wood and trash might qualify as carbon-free under 2040 Climate Law Minnesota Star Tribune. Burning wood and trash might qualify as carbon-free under 2040 Climate Law, the State Public Utilities Commission weighed. Minnesota regulators on Thursday said burning wood or trash to generate electricity could be considered carbon-free under the state's landmark. 11 Missouri. Restricted burn order in effect for Cape Girardeau County. SE Missourian. Burning until the fire danger decreased according to the order. Field fires for agricultural purposes and wood lot fires are prohibited Cape. 12 New Mexico. September 27, 2024 Smoke Information City of Albuquerque. Wood burning, contact us, EU Events E News, September 27, 2024 Smoke Information, Non-Employment Discrimination. 13 Ohio Burn Ban Expands to More Counties Amid Drought. MSN. 9 Reasons You Should Avoid a Wood Burning Fireplace. AZ Animals US. 37. 14 Virginia. Open air burning can resume in Virginia. Soon as summer ban expires. Rick ABC 8 News. Open burning slash permitted burning does not excuse you from consequences the pile must only contain clean wood or firewood to be used as fuel. 15 West Virginia. Do something here. Help coming for WV Home Energy Bills through rebate programs. Charleston Gazette. Federal support for Form Energy adds to company momentum toward batteries that last. Heat pump water heater $1,750 heat pump for space heating or 16 Canada Alberta Cochrane. Letter to the editor. Write to be cool. Cochrane Eagle. Heat pumps can save lives by providing life-saving air conditioning during heat waves. A universal heat pump program available to both homeowners. Canada, Ontario, and Minnesota. Reckless campfires blamed for BWCAW blaze on Saganaga Lake Star Tribune. Another wildfire on Wood Lake is 50% contained. That 27-acre fire northeast of Ely was discovered September 10th. Human activity also is suspected the 17 Australia, Tasmania. Fuel reduction burn. ABC emergency, ABC. Smoke may persist some days afterward depending on wind conditions. Wood heaters, wood fires, and bushfires. Current air quality information is 18 New Zealand. PM concentrations air quality data to 2023 stats NZ. PM 2.5 that are smaller than 2.5 micrometers. We report on PM 2.5 particulate matter PM 2.5 and PM 10 ozone nitrogen dioxide sulfur. 19 United Kingdom alphabetical. United Kingdom Birmingham. UK households who have a log burner in lounge face 1,000 pounds fines. Birmingham Live. According to Gov, UK numerous parts of the UK fall under smoke control areas and means that releasing smoke unauthorized fuels such as wood can only be burned in exempt chesneys explains a wood burning stove with DEF approval has passed. United Kingdom Lancaster. Homes with log burners face 1,000 pounds fines for using wrong fuel, lengths live. A wood burner. There are various rules around using wood burners. United Kingdom Leicester. Households with log burners could be fined 1,000 pounds for using wrong fuel, Leicester Mercury. A wood burner in the corner of a room. There are various rules around using wood burners. United Kingdom London. Are heat pumps the future or just a lot of hot air? The Guardian. 
Heat pumps are designed to be installed outside the home to extract warmth from the air ground or water. In densely populated areas, this could mean United Kingdom London. Households face £1,000 fine this autumn for using wrong fuel. And Burners Express, oh, UK Daily Express gas low volatile steam coal. Exempt appliances are allowed to burn unauthorized fuels such as wood. These include certain boilers, cookers, and stoves. United Kingdom London. UK homeowners are reluctant to switch to low-carbon heating our research points to how. The conversation. Heat pumps or district heating to cut greenhouse heat pump installation is very expensive way more than the available government funding. United Kingdom London. We don't think about energy bills anymore, how a heat pump changed a couple's lives. The Guardian. Living in an energy-efficient zero-carbon home with an air source heat pump has cut energy bills drastically. United Kingdom Nuffield. Fewer children admitted to hospital for asthma as air quality improves Nuffield trust. Particulate matter PM2.5 is one of the main elements of urban air pollution released from homes traffic and industry. Annually 29,000 to 43,000. United Kingdom Scotland. Dundee dad among wood stove fans fighting for their right to burn despite air pollution fears. The Courier. Many of us are fans of wood burning stoves in Dundee and beyond, but what risks do we pose to our health and the environment by using them? United Kingdom Scotland. Time to do away with the myths of housing associations. The Herald. Heat pump will be significantly cheaper to run than gas central heating. Heat pumps or where there is additional waste heat available. If you. 20 Europe. How's that net zero? Everybody will have a heat pump thing going in Europe. Hot air. Over the same period in 2023, 1.44 million heat pumps were sold in countries including France, Italy, Germany, and Sweden. It means fewer than 1.5, 21 Denmark. Johnson Controls announces major expansion at home heat pump facility Denmark. Johnson Controls. Heat pumps are a critical technology for the energy transition, typically using a third of the energy of conventional heating systems while reducing. 22 Greece. Incentives for greater use of heat pumps, e.k.a. theimrini.com heat pumps. The program which is expected to begin this fall will subsidize 50% 60% of the cost of purchasing and installing a heat pump in. 23 India. Alphabetical. Come November share thenews.com. PK the News International. PM 2.5 has reduced the life expectancy of the residents of the country by almost four years. This figure goes up to seven years in cities like Lahore. India. Expert explains why quick fixes like smog towers cloud seeding won't save us from air pollution. The Indian Express. This prevents pollutants from rising and dispersing, causing levels of fine particulate matter PM 2.5 and other air pollutants to reach extremely. India. Smoke the air pollutant Kashmir vision. Houses had chimneys at the top of the kitchen to let out the smoke as kitchens used to be smoky due to coal or wood as the fuel for cooking. 24 Malaysia. Commercial HVAC market to grow by 25.3 million US dollars from 2024-2028 driven by the Malaysian Reserve. 2.1 heat pump 2.2 furnaces 2.3 boilers 2.4 unitary heaters. Geography energy saving systems like underfloor heating and heat pumps are popular. 25 Purple Air Map Update. Excerpts edited by Razep for brevity and clarity in relationship to residents against wood smoke emission particulates of 501c3 nonprofit organization. September 28, 2024. A new version of the Purple Air Map has been released. Many new features have been added that support geographical data analysis and enhance user experience. Below I'll jump into what's new with the Purple Air Map. Location-specific viewing. The map now supports the functionality of viewing sensors within defined boundaries. But what does that mean? This means that you can choose to look at sensors in a restricted area such as the United States for example, and not see sensors outside of that boundary. This can make the map easier to parse, and is also very useful for people who want to see the data for a specific area, or want to know how many sensors are around them. Countries aren't the only boundaries supported, however. You can also choose to go down to the state county, or even city level depending on the country. These higher geographical resolutions allow for more and improved targeted data collection. How do I do this? Defining a boundary is actually very quick and simple. In the address bar of your preferred browser type in map.purpleair.com, after the slash type in whatever location you want. The currently supported selections range from countries to cities. Press enter or return. That's it. You should automatically be brought to an appropriate view of the geographical location you entered. If you're not sure where to start, try inputting your home country. Worldwide real-time interactive ranking. Along with this map update, we're releasing our new sensor data ranking tool. This tool allows you to compare data layers over multiple regions, change the scope of your data view and more. Learn how to use the tool below. In the address bar of your preferred browser type in location, .purpleair.com. This should bring you to a table that looks something like below. By default, you will see a list of countries ranked by air quality. This is because the default data layer selections include all of the available AQIs as well as location type. You can delete data layers from this list by clicking the X at the top of their respective boxes. The default view ranks the highest value at the top with the rest in descending order. You can switch the order around and make the lowest value appear at the top by clicking inside the first data layer box at the top left. The result should look something like below. On the left side of the table is a list of countries ranked by their AQI values. Clicking on one of those countries will bring you to a new list that is one level down in terms of scope. For example, if you click on the United States, you will be brought to a list of all the US states. If you then click on a state, you will be brought to a list of its counties, etc. Deleting all data layers that are selected will result in the list on the left becoming alphabetized. Other added features. This map update also features a number of new settings available on the map configuration page, including new data layers, conversions, and other customizable options. Below, you'll find a brief overview of the new options. I encourage you to hop onto the map to check them out. Data layers. A number of new data layers have been added, including the following Canadian PM 2.5 AQHI plus Chinese PM 2.5 AQI. New South Wales PM 2.5 AQI. UK PM 2.5 Daily Air Quality Index. British Columbia PM 2.5G slash M3. Canadian PM 2.5G slash M3. PM 2.5 expressed as cigarettes per day. Sensor edition. Conversions A few new conversions have been added including the following. 
An updated Alt CF equals 3 conversion now called Alt CF equals 3.4. An updated US EPA conversion. A conversion developed by the Canada ECCC. Other settings you now have the option to turn off the gradient color scale used on map markers. You can now choose between imperial and metric units. Not sure where to go? Check out the map or view air quality rankings now.